In the last video that I uploaded, we create KMS keys so that we can use that when we encrypt um, our file with the server-side encryption KMS option. Now, um, once again, KMS, we have the choice to select a key that we create and manage. So the key that we created earlier, we can uh, actually, we can use that to uh, encrypt our files. Now, let me go back to the, con uh, the command line. And this time I'm gonna upload um, uh, white.jpg. We did black last time, so um, what I'm gonna do is say AWS S3 copy um, white.jpg um, to my bucket which is um, S3 let me see if I still have, okay I have the bucket here now last time we just did SSC and it, it encrypted our file. Now this time what we want to do is say after SSE I want to say AWS right colon KMS so I'm saying I want to do I want to use the KMS option to encrypt my keys to encrypt my files so after this we have to provide uh, SSE KMS key ID. Now at this point, um, you know, I, I don't have my keys, right? So I'm just going to press enter. I'm not going to be um, able to do anything. But what I missed here was I need to find the key first, the key ID. Now, uh, from the last video, if you remember, what we did was to find the key that I want to use. Uh, I'm going to say AWS KMS list um, aliases right okay now this is the key that I created in the last lesson now what I want to copy is the key ID right here now um, this is we can also use this this was this key was created uh, um, you should also have something uh, a key with an alias of alias AWS slash s3 this will be there for all the accounts. Now you can either use this or the one we actually created earlier. For in my case, I'm going to use. I'm going to show you by using both. So um, alias my CLI key. I'm going to use this one first. So I will copy this key ID here. Okay. Now clear the screen. Um, I'm going to bring up the command that I used earlier AWS s3 copy uh, this now after the key ID I'm gonna paste the key ID enter and as you can see we were able to upload this file to the bucket um, white.jpg so if I go to my bucket and refresh I should have a white.jpg file click on this actually click on it and you will see that the KMS ID ends with 6f right 6f and this is the key that we um, that we used um, now what I'm going to try to do is um, upload the same file but the different key right so as you can see we have we all we can also use this um, the with an alias of AWS slash s3 now we should be able to use this right so once again what I did was I'm using this time the key with an alias of alias AWS s3 I'm going to copy this and after the key ID just like earlier I'm going to paste this key ID now now as you can see the file got uploaded one more time and note the key ID since I uploaded the same file 
with a different key let's see what happens now when I refresh so the, the key right now is ending with b6f refresh and the key has changed now so as you can see we can actually choose which key we encrypt our file with right we have more control and um, when I use the um, the key that I created which is my CLI key I can go deeper and I can say you know this user can use this key this user can manage this key and we'll do that later in the KMS section so um, uh, at this point what I want to do is uh, try to use uh, one more key that was right here let's see what what this does right so I also have one more key I don't know if you have this in your case um, but I'm gonna try to show you something so uh, I'm gonna copy the alias of AWS LS RDS relational database service uh, target key ID I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna try to use this key and upload the file one more time right and um, I shouldn't be able to use this because this was um, created created for RDS um, um, RDS uh, service right because as you can see um, this is the one, the key that I created in the earlier video um, the s3 was created by Amazon um, for use with the s3 service in this region only so I can only use this key in this region uh, now now other keys uh, when you when you see stuff like RDS and Kinesis and Redshift you shouldn't be able to use those keys uh, and that's basically that's basically it you know you can there is a key that's created by AWS to use within FS3 you can create your own keys like I did here my CLI key and uh, but you cannot use cross uh, key from a different service right um, and um, that's basically it this is how you encrypt uh, by providing your KMS keys and as you can see you can you have more control of choosing your keys uh, so this concludes the lesson uh, of KMS um, server-side encryption I will see you in the next video where we do server-side encryption with customer provided keys see you in that video